It's gone. Hold it. Hold it up to your eyes. With no regard for the law, working out his private issues on the public stage and going after a minor, threatening his liberty. Because of his own personal agenda, this is a rogue prosecutor. This is someone who thinks he's above the law. This is something we cannot put up with. This is still America. This is not Iran. This is not Russia. This is the United States where we believe in freedom. And we are out here today to guarantee liberty and to defend freedom against those who are taken away. And they claim, what I think is interesting, they claim to be conservative. This, this is big government religion, is what they do. They're trying to tell people that we're going to prosecute you if you do not believe our way. Is there anything less conservative than that? I don't think so. And they also want to claim it's for Christianity. This isn't about love, this is about lashing out against somebody for no good reason and trying to make a point. We look at the prosecutors, we look at the prosecutor and what he said. He said this was about. He said this wasn't about. Um, this was about uh, the war at Christmas. This was about uh, liberals. This guy sounds more like a talk show host, like he wants to be Bill O'Reilly or Rush Limbaugh than a district attorney. I say he should go get himself a television or radio show if that's what he's about, rather than somebody who has who hides behind the law. This is an individual who should be going after crime, not. Coming in from Chicago, and many of you all came in from all over today to stand up for this country and what makes it great. Thank you very much. Barbie. Barbie. You want me to go next? Yeah. Do I do it this way? Just go ahead. Oh. Right. Yeah. Here's a, here's a like, microphone. Give me a like shot. There. Like 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 there. That's fine. It'll pick up. That's fine. There we go. Hey, everybody. You gotta stand up. Can you all hear me? I said, can you all hear me? Yes, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out here today to defend uh, the Constitution and a child. I am, uh, unfortunately, let me see if I I am the anti-Christian, ban school prayer, war on Christmas, opposed the display of the Ten Commandments crowd. And I am proud to be that, because that is how you defend religious liberty. Religious liberty comes from the separation of church and state. And in fact, religious freedom is a synonym for the separation of church and state. Now, what does the separation of church and state mean? It means the government provides the protection for all citizens practice their religion nice. as they see fit, but does not take sides. Any kind of government that takes sides in the practice of religion is a law to step closer to theocracy, a step farther away from religious freedom. Think about it. If the government protects one religion over another, if the government gives one advantage to one religion over another, one religion position over another, then those minority positions get your rights. And this is what we're having here. We're, we're, we're seeing a person, a child, who has displayed an opinion. Now, it doesn't matter whether or not we like the opinion. That's not the point. It doesn't matter whether or not we endorse the opinion. That's not the point. However, of course, I do. This is about the ability to express an opinion. This is about the ability to say something, even if it's not right. This is about to express a minority viewpoint, and this is about a district attorney stepping over the line to protect one theology, one religion, to the detriment, to the detriment of the civil rights of a child. And I am here to say something very clear to the district attorney. That's illegal. You can't do that. He came out and said that this was about protecting the religious rights of the people who are praying. And yet all the people who pray in this church, they weren't affected by this. They didn't even know it happened. Nobody knew it happened until the child posted pictures. So how are anybody's, any human's rights trampled? They're not. What has been trampled is the idea that Christianity is above reproach 
and about criticism. I criticize religion. I deny the Holy Spirit and God, and I encourage all of you to do so, and this is the number one worst crime in Christianity. And I am here to tell the district attorney to pick on someone your own size. Use the exact same reasoning you used to throw this child into the penal system to attack me, to arrest me, because I stand by my conviction that religion is a scam, that Jesus is a lie, and that God is a myth. And I will shout that from the rooftops. And if somebody gets offended by that, too bad, because I still have the right to say it, and I will continue to use that right and to protect that right, not only for me, but for every citizen of Bedford County and America. Thank you all for coming to this event, and uh, thank you for standing up for the freedom to express religious dissent. Thank you. Woo!